Hello, my fellow geeks on the internet. I'm Tian, and today I'm coming at you with my custom Lego Bat Cave. So if you were here since the 17th of February 2018, you would have seen me actually start this project where I made the middle section and the road, or part of the road, I think. I don't know, I streamed that a while ago. Uh, it's on private now, but soon it'll be public. But yeah, so this has taken me since the 17th of February to make. It started out as the plain Lego Batman movie Batcave set from 2017, and this is how it looks now. So there's a lot of my own design. I'm really happy with how it's turned out, and the best thing is I can change and adapt this any way I want over time. I'm not taking this down. You know, if I don't like something in the future, I can just change it around. But anyway, let's get in for a close look so I can show you what is in this back cave. Starting off from left to right, we've got the little docking area for just some of Batman's vehicles. We've got the whirly bat up the back here just being stored. And they've got the bat bike. And then over here we've got some tools so that way Batman can do repairs and a bin for if he needs it. Here we've got a, the bat cave changer from the Lego Batman movie set. I wanted to keep this because I really like this feature from that set. So can't go around all the way, but yeah, so I've just got some, some Lego Batman mini figures. I've got my Dark Knight Batman and that, so just to fill these out uh, for the display and stuff. And here we've got a little kitchen. Now, I may remove this in the future, same as the couch and TV, but for the time being, I've got this in here. It's just for comedic value and stuff. And we've got a little TV for Alfred to watch Itchy and Scratchy, so... Yeah, and then here we have little Alfred running a glass over to Batman. Yeah, so I really like this little section. Over here, we've got the Batmobile. So I've just got my custom Dawn of Justice Batmobile here. And so it sits on the road here. That way you can just shoot out into Gotham. Over under here, we've got the gyms. So this is where Batman, Nightwing, Robin, anyone can work out, we got some dumbbells, we got a little mannequin over there to, you know, boxing or whatever, a pull-up bar and a barbell, so they can do bench presses and stuff, so yeah, there's a little gym. Over here, we've got a little medical bay, so when Batman or Robin are injured, they come here and when you see, you know, they get healed and this is on a swivel. So I can turn on that, so Alfred can do his medical things. Over here you got a little computer, you know, for if it's training stuff. I might add some like one by two uh, transparent blue tiles, so that way, you know, it's kind of like a holographic thing. But for right now, I'm happy with the way it is. As we, and here we've got my Nightwing and Robin training right there. Over here is a trophy area, so there's a lot of stuff to cover in here. So, let's get to it. And here, of course, we've got the Jason Todd Memorial. So there's the old Jason suit. And here is the crowbar that Joker used to beat Jason to death. I know it's kind of sick, but I thought it's kind of cool to have that there. So, I thought I'll have that there next to, you know, the Robin suit. Over here, we've got some other trophies. We've got the Harley Quinn Jester hat. We've got Mr. Freeze's ice gun. We've got the sword that Bruce Wayne had as a kid and in some incarnations when he leaves the theater after seeing what is it, Zorro or the Grey Ghost, he walks out with a sword. So this is his little fencing sword. Here we have just a golden cup. I forgot who I made that for or who that's supposed to be. We got Bane's bear, poison ivy plant, Zaz's knife, Hugo Strange's syringe, and Two Faces coin. Over here, we've got the armored bat suit just in pieces hanging up here. Over here, we've got the Sonic gun inspired by Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, the Sonic suit. So I just decided to recreate that and have them add them to his collection. We have a folder which inside has got, if I can open it, we've got kryptonite. So we always know that Batman's got a stash of kryptonite hidden away. So that's where that is. Hiding up there. We have a Psy over here, so it could be like a Kabuki twin or uh, I don't know, it could be a Tali Alkal weapon, but you know. So over here we've got some pink lipstick, so 
it could be a Harley Quinn or Joker thing. Then we get a thing of gold. Then we get a wind up penguin, a flamethrower, so fireflies flamethrower, an arrow sitting here. Uh, so it could be green arrow, hunter, like anyone like that. Captain Boomerang's Boomerang. Now I know it's not a Batman villain, but I thought it would be cool. A fractured cow. You know, so maybe this is after meeting Bean for the first time. It's just cow got really destroyed. So, got that there. And then a Joker uh, gift. Over here, we got the Red Hood suit, or the Joker Red Hood. So I thought that would be cool to have that in display. So it's kind of like... Batman's creation of his worst enemy and Batman's greatest failure. He's got them both there. Over here we've got Catwoman's things. We've got a thing of milk, jewel, a whip, and a claw for Catwoman. Over here we've got different sort of weapons. So we've got Deadshot's sniper rifle, Deathstroke's bow staff and katana, and Riddler's cane before he had the question mark cane. Then here we've got Mr. Freeze's body armor which is just from Lego Batman movie sets. So, yeah. Over here we've got uh, like a prototype bat suit. So it's just basically the red skull or the iron skull minifigure which painted over the torso. And then just out of this cowl and just some gray gloves. And so this can be like the prototype suit before he adds all the other stuff to make it the Batman suit that we know and love. Then over here we got Joe Chill's gun, the gun that killed his parents. Don't ask me how Bruce got this, I just thought it'd be cool just to have the first thing that started everything inside the Batcave. So there we go. Moving up these steps, we see Batman standing there. Up here we have a little, you know, forensics lab, so he's got Bat merch, because why not? Then he's got a, a little microscope for when he does his DNA stuff. And he's got some vials and needles and whatnot. A dish for when he needs to make chemicals. And then wine glass, because why not? And then got an emergency button. And then just a little monitor here. And we have Red Robin standing here. Up here, we, this is where the bat suit would go. So the bat suit was standing there. It's the little chamber. Got a little bat up there. Got a little bin, because, you know, got to be able to throw things out. Got a little fire extinguisher in case the back cave goes on fire. The red phone. I'll come back to that. And then over here, we've got his arsenal. Now, some of these weapons are here just because of the uh, film that I'm going to be doing. So some of these, like, these will most likely change. But for right now, I've got, like, different sort of guns and melee weapons and that. So I kind of like this table. I'll probably keep this, but, like, some of these... I will be removing this stuff. Like I said, I am going to be updating it. It's just for my media film, just for comedic value, as I am doing a comedic Batman film, and I thought having all these weapons would be funny. Uh, so don't worry, I am swapping them out. And over here are just some handguns, just to go part of the comedic value. The katana he had when he was with Ray Shell Ghoul, so I thought that would be cool to have that there. And then in here, we have a container full of batarangs. They're all different sorts of batarangs. So not really different sorts, but you get the idea, because they're all the same. Over here, I thought I'd come back and leave this for last. We have the back computer. So as we can see, I've made some other little monitors to come up the side here, and different little keyboards and stuff. So they're actually separate from each other, just to differentiate both sides. We got the main keyboard and the monitor there. Two little screens. This can be like a little holographic screen. These two screens are from the 2012 Batcave set. And then the Lego Batman go up here. So, because I really like this design, I wanted to keep that there. So, that's the main Lego part. Now, for the walls, I actually use foam core. So, my media teacher gave me some of this. And so, what I did, I cut it up, spray painted it, and yeah, so on the back, we've got three layers. We've got the back layer. And then we've got another layer where this actually curves around to the side. I've actually curved it into there. They've got a little middle panel in the middle. And then I've got the, this other back panel just to cover it. And that's so it looks all ni nice and tidy. Then I spray painted it all gray. And then I made some of these like, I don't want to say icicles, but they're kind of like icicles here. I think they're stalactites. I, I 
forget what they're called. If you know what they are, let me know in the comments below. They're basically in caves, in those rock formations. Anyway, so I got them, and I got a couple on the bottom, like down there, down there, and over here. And that, and then I've got an LED strip going all the way around. And that, so I just have the remote, which is that way. If I want to, I can change it up a bit. But I can have a green, and have different shades of green. Red, orange, purple, yellow. I have a disco. Uh, there we go. There we go, we can have a disco or not, so, yeah. So that's basically the back cave. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, this has taken me, like I said, since the 17th of February to make this. I'm really happy with how it's turned out, and over time, I may update some stuff, like change that area down there, maybe change this, and I'm definitely changing this part. But for right now, this is actually the first one, and if I do updates, I will show you, because this is going to be part of the T-Gunverse, that's why I got my T-Gunverse Bat Family in here, which I will be adding on to whatnot, you know, the Bat Family. So, yeah, thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share for more, let me know what you think in the comments below. Alright, see ya!